Hello, welcome to What's for Dinner, What We Ate. This edition of What's for Dinner is a little bit different. It is several meals, a couple of weeks, all rolled into one as I have not been feeling well and I spent a little bit time away from home in the hospital. So here is a look at what we ate starting with Monday, August 22nd and ending up um, with I don't know, Saturday, August, September 9th. This is Monday, August 27th. On Monday, we have sandwiches. This is just a tuna sandwich with some noodles that I think Mackenzie made and some pineapple, and I think the kids had peas. This is Tuesday, August 23rd. It's the old standby. It's something that I make maybe once a month, once every other month. It's noodles and chicken sausage, mushrooms, and a side salad. I had ranch dressing that night. On Wednesday, August 24th, we had hot dogs and macaroni and cheese and chips. And I believe the kids had corn or something. And I think there were some Brussels sprouts roaming around. On Thursday, August 25th, we had chicken Alfredo roll-ups. It's chicken um, and Alfredo sauce and mozzarella cheese rolled up in a lasagna roll or a lasagna noodle, and a side salad. On Friday, August 26th, my hubby went out with friends, and the kids and I had nachos. There was just nacho cheese, tortilla chips, and um, sour cream. Pretty basic. On Saturday, August 27th, we went to Red Robin. These are the Red Robin onion rings from the onion ring tower. I had already eaten one. They are really crispy and really good, and even the kids who don't like onions love the onion rings. This is a picture of um, a chicken nugget from one of the kids' chicken nugget meals and half of a hamburger. I don't remember if this is my hamburger or my daughter's hamburger. I really like the hamburgers at Red Robin. I don't like the fries, though. I don't know why. On Sunday, um, August 28th, we grilled hot dogs, but I forgot to take a picture. However, that day on our way to Costco, we saw the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile parked at a Jersey Mike's. So funny. So I took a picture of it and inserted it instead of our grilled hot dogs. On Monday, August 29th, we had Rubens. I had been craving Rubens for a long time, and this was probably one of my favorite meals of the entire year. It was so freaking good. On Tuesday, August 30th, I made Thanksgiving for dinner. I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and breakfast are my two favorite meals. I could eat Thanksgiving every other month, and this was the turkey. It was so good. I also opened a can of cranberries because jellied cranberries in a can, there's nothing more Thanksgiving than jellied cranberries in a can. And I also made some mashed potatoes. I mashed them, and then I put them in a... 9 by 13 pan and put them in the oven. They were fantastic. They had like cream cheese and sour cream. And if you know me, I don't eat corn. However, I do eat this corn casserole. It was out of this world and it was even better the second and third day. I'm not even joking. I loved it. This is my favorite, this sweet potato casserole. I am always asked to bring this in. My ex-husband and I got a divorce. This was one of the two things that I was asked the recipes I was asked for by my ex-husband's family. And this is one of the reasons why my new husband married me. Sweet potato casserole, very good. I also made um, some stuffing or dressing, depending on where you live. That was pretty good. I also made gravy. I don't eat gravy, so I'm not sure if this was good or not. But I think Logan said it was the best gravy he ever had. I also made this. I have never made this. It was called the Pink Stuff. It was raspberry jello, Cool Whip with um, cottage cheese and cream cheese. I don't like, I didn't like it, but my hubby, who doesn't usually like that kind of stuff, really enjoyed it. So I don't know, maybe I just didn't give it a fair chance. But it was Thanksgiving in August and wonderful. But after two days of eating it, I was really happy to have some Jimmy John's. This was on Friday, September 2nd. The hubby went out with friends again. The kids and I had Jimmy John's. This is the Hunter's Club or whatever. It's just roast beef. I asked for it without lettuce. They put lettuce on it. It's Jimmy John's. I forgive you. It's okay. On Saturday, September 3rd, we went out for a huge family meal. I think there must have been 25 of us for my father-in-law's 80th birthday. 
And then on Sunday, September 4th, it was Labor Day weekend. We grilled hot dogs and chicken breasts and grilled pineapple. This isn't the actual picture. This is a picture that I was from the beginning of the summer, but we basically had the same exact meal. So I reused the picture. And then on Monday, September 5th, which was Labor Day, we went to my mom's house and grilled out again. And then I ended up in the hospital for several days. So here are some, some hospital food pictures. I have breakfast and dinner pictures as well, but these are all my lunch pictures for some reason. I have no idea where the breakfast and dinner pictures are, but this is one lunch meal. It was a turkey sandwich, really very basic hospital food. But I have to say, as far as hospital food goes, this hospital food is really good. Um, there's a cookie back there that I saved for later in the day and a turkey sandwich and there was some orange juice. This was asparagus soup, the cream of asparagus soup. And I was on a no salt diet and this was really good. Even with the no salt saltines, it was, it had enough flavor to make up for the fact that there was no salt in it. It was pretty, it was pretty good. I have to say, again, for hospital food, it was good. This was a tuna sandwich on rye, some pears, and I believe that's grape juice. And in that container, the covered container was um, tomato soup. That was a little bit bland without salt, but it was okay. Again, no salt, saltines. These are this Ensure. They're like highly nutritional shakes or drinks like chocolate milk. I do not like the vanilla. I need to drink two of these a day. I will say that since last, today's Wednesday, since last Tuesday, I've lost 17 pounds. This is another meal. It's almost exactly like the last lunch, except for that little apple card is missing. And I think that's cranberry juice instead of grape juice. But then like two days in a row, they gave me the same exact lunch, except a different juice and not a card with a cute little apple on it. But again, it was really decent food for being in a hospital. The dinners were really good. I don't know where those pictures went. And the day I came home for dinner, I made BLTs. It was, they were really good and very, it was very nice to have a home cooked meal, even though it was just BLTs. And the tomatoes came from my mom's garden, which made it even more homey and delicious. The next day, which was Saturday, um, September 10th was my daughter's 20th birthday and she wanted sushi and we we're supposed to go to Chicago But there was no way I could make that drive. I have really bad nausea and dizziness from all my meds So we just went to our favorite local sushi place. These are the Godzilla rolls so delicious, but Watching the belt go around. Oh was just torture This on the left is eel very very good unagi and on the right are spicy scallop rolls. They were really good as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm slowly trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm still not feeling well. My medications are really messing with my equilibrium or my whatever. And I'm super dizzy. Hope to see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.